Hello, I'm Allison Burns, and thanks for watching My TV Tampa Bay. On tonight's show, we're helping you learn about the organization 50 Legs, a nonprofit that benefits young athletes in the Bay Area and across the nation. This is Tampa Bay Right Now. Joining me first is Steve Chamberlain, a Tampa Bay professional wrestler who began the organization. And to tell us more about it, he's right here. Welcome, good Steve. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? <laughs> it's actually good evening. Oh, good evening. This is That's at right. 10 o'clock oh. at night. I mean, oh, did my you God, just I'm a wake slow. up? Yeah, I'm a little slow oh, today. Yeah. It's been a rough day. <laughs> so tell us about this organization. Well, I started this back in um, a year and a half ago now. Mm -hmm. uh, I started it. Me and Jimmy Hart, we went down. Uh, we did the, I was going to do the Paralympics last year. And uh, we went to Wild World of Sports in Orlando, mm -hmm. and I won the gold medal beating guys with two legs. And I was like, you know what, I, I can do this. And then I seen the kids that I was going against, they were like 18, 17, 19, 20, 22. And I'm like, I can't do this. I'm 41 years old. If I beat somebody that age, I'll feel horrible. <laughs> so I, I did that. And then uh, a guy in, that owned an Under Armour store in Go uh, Greensboro, Georgia, called me and said, hey, we want you to come down and just, it was me, Jimmy Hart, and X-Pac. We went down there and uh, their grand opening, signed some autographs, met some kids. And they called me before we got there. And they said, hey, this little girl lost a leg, Anaya Rutger. And I'm like, yeah, well, what can we do for her? Does she have a leg yet? And they're like, no. So they called the mother, and they hooked up a deal. And I went down. I called a couple of companies around here, got some components, got a $30,000 leg. Wow. Went down to uh, Greensboro, Georgia. She's from Madison. They drove up there. We gave her a leg. And Jimmy and I were there, and we're just talking. And, uh, and we were just looking at this little girl, and it's just like she's so precious. She saved her sister's life. Mm -hmm. The story's huge. You yeah, know? I it's read just, it on your website. It's, it's just, amazing. Yeah, what she went through to be like, you know, just to be such a fighter. And uh, when I handed her the leg, her life just changed. It was like her face was like, like it was, yeah, it was, it was the coolest thing in the world. And I look at him, and, and when I'm leaving, I leave, and uh, Jimmy looks at me and goes, brother, he goes, you just seen it. He goes, you know, that's what you're, you're meant to do. And all your whole life, you know, like people always say things happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer in that. I am too. Now, it took me 11 years to figure sure. out my path in life. But, uh, you know, from, from me losing my leg in 99, now to where I'm at now, it's just like I thank God every day that I lost my leg because, as you see coming up with uh, one of the girls that I got a leg for, Kylie, mm -hmm. she does karate. She, <laughs> you know, she does, she's riding her bike now. Yeah. She hasn't ridden she's her bike. She's running around the while. studio. And yeah, I like, mean, <laughs> yeah, we're looking for the monkey box for that little mm -hmm. thing. Where is she? She's probably up on the rafters somewhere. I know, somewhere. right? Oh, I see her. But that's just, I mean, I'm blessed, and I, you know, and I get to touch a lot of people's lives. And, you know, and nobody knows about the charities out there because, you know, for instance, I got a guy that was 49 years old like, uh, last week. Mm -hmm. um, he was out there, and he had a leg made from a company in Massachusetts. So he lost his leg in a motorcycle accident also. He calls. He reached out to me. One of our mutual friends saw my uh, website, and he called and says, Hey, I know I'm older. He goes, But this is what's going on. He goes, I already got a $30,000 knee. Mm -hmm. He goes, But my fit, it hurts. Is it supposed to hurt? I'm like, Hell no, it's not supposed to hurt. I said, Man, you just will hook you up. I said, You know, get down here, and I'll hook you up with my company that I'm dealing with. The company I deal with is in Orlando, POA. It's uh, Stan Patterson, the world-known, you know, prosthetist. Mm -hmm. He had the guy come down, and he flew himself down. Uh, he stayed at my house so we didn't have to pay extra money. Mm -hmm. I f drove to Orlando four times last week, and uh, we got the guy a leg. And to see a 49-year-old man cry just <laughs> because he's not in pain no more, and he's, he just lost his leg eight months ago, but for six months he's wearing a leg that is why he don't want to put it on. Right. His whole life got turned upside down. He, he don't want to do anything with his wife after being at work and doing things, you know what I mean? So it changed his life so much where he, like, I dropped him off at the airport this morning. Mm -hmm. I was at the airport at 5 o'clock in Orlando this morning. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, but it was just crazy how one little thing, like, just knowing the right people can change people's lives. Because there's so many prosthetic companies out there that it's all about insurance. It's all right. about money. It's, you know what I mean? If you can't help us, we're not going to help you. Like, we're mm -hmm. not going to go the extra mile and get you something. Like, any person I help is going to get the best of the best, and they're not going to leave until the guy that makes their leg is happy. He don't care if you have insurance or don't have insurance. We don't turn anybody down. That's why I've got my charity where, you know, for the average person, they get one leg every three years to five years. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a kid and wants to play sports or yeah, be an athlete. they're growing, too. You, and you can't. So you're telling a kid that's five, seven years old, we're not going to help you out and get you a water leg. You can't go in the ocean. We want you to crawl in the ocean. <laughs> we want you to get carried around a water park. You know, that's how I heard about this story. Um, uh, with, uh, with Kylie, I heard, you know, she just was fighting with the company to get a water leg. I'm like, you live in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> You're already handicapped, so you want to see a poor little girl crawling, you know, or jumping, you know, to the water. It's just, right. it's unacceptable to me, and that's why we got 50 legs 
foundation now and it's just it's been growing i mean but you know once people know more about it and yeah. you know we can i mean there's so many different things that we that's can what do. we're hoping to do here is yeah to let and people know guys. about your organization because yeah. it's so it just impacts people you it's, just i mean just five minutes with you yeah and it's just you can tell how it's changed your life oh my god you can tell the stories about how it's changed others but yeah. tell me a little let's backtrack tell me about your story Back in uh, 1999, I was training at Kill Kowalski's in Malden, Mass. Mm -hmm. It was a wrestling school, Triple H in China, and all the big famous, a lot of famous people came from there. And I was actually going to practice one day. It was uh, Memorial Day, and I was going up there to lift and do my thing up at the gym. And we, we spent a couple extra Saturdays and Sundays. The guy actually took extra time because he was like, man, you got one leg and you move pretty good. He couldn't believe I had a fake leg. First of all, when he saw me in the ring, he was like, man, we could work with you. So he was taking extra time. So I went to go get my bag on a Saturday, Memorial Day, actually. and. Uh, I was coming around a corner and the truck went through a stop sign. So I kicked my leg out and my leg got stuck in the radiator. Mm. I went this way and the big Dodge Ram, 1999 Dodge Ram went this way and my leg was inside it. Wow. It got stuck in the radiator and grill. Yeah, it's crazy. I got up to go out to the guy. I was so mad. I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you, you son so of a gun. So just the impact, you didn't feel pain I didn't feel right nothing. Away. No, I didn't feel anything. And then I, when I looked down, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't, my jeans were still there, so I did, just didn't see my foot, my boot. So I was like, man, I must have broke my leg. So I pulled my pant leg up higher, higher, and then I just seen, mm. and then I look over, I see it hanging from the grill, and I just lay back. I was like, dang. One of my buddies was like, literally, like, I was uh, like three blocks from where I was going. Wow. And my buddy's house was on the corner. He came running over. We took my belt off, tied my leg up, and. Got life find a boss and mass general and goodness strong yeah. man you are <laughs> it's obviously just, but yeah it's just crazy but it's i thank god it yeah. happened you know well if okay, i can change these kids thought, lives we have so much to talk about yeah yeah, so yeah. we're going to take a quick break yep. and come back we can talk about this forever but okay. thank you coming up next we'll be speaking with a close friend of steve's hall of fame manager the mouth of the south jimmy hart